Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. And here is the market update. So today, January 4th, 2023, the mortgages and mortgage prices are up 28 basis points. More, 28 basis points more than the market closed yesterday. Stock futures are up a little bit this morning, so there is a little relief. It's been a bad, bad year for stocks and the markets um, last year, so we'll see what 2023 has in store. Traders right now are on standby. They're waiting to see what the Fed minutes um, say. So when the minutes come out, so the minutes are part of the meeting that the Fed releases, the Federal Reserve, and they're wondering what's going to happen with rates. So if they hike rates again, we could have another downturn in the market. If they lower rates, uh, that means money gets a little cheaper. Usually that stimulates stuff. So that's what traders are looking forward to today. That's going to come out, I think, in about one hour from now when I'm recording. Anyways, um, treasuries are a little, a little bit better than yesterday. Right now, the 10-year yield is at 3.67%. And... Mortgage applications, this is a big one. Mortgage applications are down 10.3% week over week. So if mortgage applications are down, usually that means there are less buyers in the market. So if you're thinking of buying, this might be the time to jump in. And if you're thinking of selling, if this trend continues, it's basic, you know, the less buyers in a market, uh, usually it will be a worse price that you get for your house. So if you're thinking about selling, let us know. If you're thinking about buying, same thing, let us know. And then let's see what else we have here. Okay, so numbers for December 2022. There'll be some slides that you guys can check out. For San Fernando Valley, we had a huge, huge drop of year-to-date sales volume. And that was 20%. So it's 20% less in the month of December. There was 34% less listings. There was 54% less pending sales. So sales went down by half in the month of December in the San Fernando Valley. So again, all of this leads to less buyers on the market equals lower prices. Right now, the prices as of last month are not that much lower. They're only 3% less year over year for the medium sales home. Uh, median sale price home in the San Fernando Valley. Now, if we look at Santa Clarita Valley, uh, we have a median sales price that actually went up year over year by 2%. There's still a lot less listings, so 35% less new listings in the month of December year over year. Less listings could mean higher prices or, or prices staying the same. It doesn't necessarily mean that the prices are going down. Now, Pending sales went down significantly. They went down 63% in Santa Clarita year over year. So that means now what you're seeing is a very aggressive buyer's market for the buyers that are serious and looking to buy. And same thing with the sellers. Sellers who were kind of not as serious didn't need to sell. They put it out there, saw what they saw. Maybe they took it off. Maybe they rented the property or maybe they just decided right now wasn't the time. So what you're seeing now is sellers that need to sell are doing so and getting out before things get worse or maybe they're anticipating things getting worse and buyers are being able to get better deals um we've gotten several cases where their closing costs are covered where we get price reductions in the 20 30 40 50 thousand dollar range sometimes even more and it's just about finding those sellers who are serious and need to sell uh, same thing with the sellers we are finding buyers who need to buy and those are the ones typically that are gonna pay fair market value they're gonna make it easier on the seller to go through the transaction and they are still selling so there's still plenty of buyers in the market so right now whatever you're planning on doing it's very specific to each person's specific situation whatever you're planning on doing let us know we can help we can have a conversation about it i hope you have a great day a great rest of the week and i'll see you later